going to tell you something that every successful person has to do, including you. Believe it or not, every successful person in this world has jumped. I'm going to tell you what I mean by that. You eventually, you are going to have to jump. You cannot just exist in this life. You have got to try to live. If you are waking up thinking that there's got to be more to your life than it is, man, believe that it is. Believe in your heart of hearts that it is. But to get to that life, you're going to have to jump. When you become the right person, what I mean by the right person is once you identify who you are and you begin to separate yourself from the masses and you begin to see your individuality, when you begin to see your talents, when you begin to see your personal skills, when you were created, you were created with a specific purpose, a specific design. I don't care if you was born and you know your parents didn't claim you, you still special. So I need you to be you. Number one, you gotta catch this. Number one, value, all right? When you become who you are, when you become the person that you were created to be, designed to be who you were designed to be, when you become an individual, what you do is you, 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 you take yourself and you start separating yourself from other people. What you need to do to get to a place in your life where you blow up is one, to become the right person. Because when you become the right person, what you do is you show your worth, you show your value. When you become the right person, when you become the right person, what you do is you start separating yourself from other people. You begin to have a certain uniqueness. As long as you following other people, as long as you being a copycat, you will never ever be the best copycat in the world, but you will be the best you could be. You got to take that gift that's packed away on your back. You got to jump off that cliff and pull that cord. I dare you, number two, to invest in yourself. That's right, I dare you to invest time. I dare you to be alone. I dare you to spend an hour getting to know yourself. If you don't ever use it, you're gonna just go to work. And if you're getting up going to work on a job every day that you hate going to, that ain't living, man. You just existed. At one point in time, you ought to see what living's like. But the only way to see what living's like, you got to jump. And here's the problem. Let me tell you something. Your parachute will not open right away. I, I'm sorry. I, I wish I could tell you it did, but it don't. When you jump, it's not going to open right away. You're going to hit them rocks. But eventually, eventually, the parachute has to open. Decide, commit, act, succeed, repeat. If you want to be an impactful personality, you have to develop certain types of thinking and perceptions that change the way you see yourself and see the world. No matter what you want to do in life, no matter what your ambition is, uh, that your dreams can come true if you persevere, if you work hard, um, and if you realize that what you might think is impossible is possible in today's world. But you have to keep yourself focused on whatever your ultimate goal is. There's, stumble, there's stumbling blocks all the way. People get laid off, you have a bad game, you get traded from a team that you uh, don't want to be with. But if your goal and your focus remains the same, that hey, this is going to happen and I know I have the skills and I have the knowledge and have the instincts to dig myself out of this hole, you will dig yourself out of the hole. You have to control the situation. Don't let the situation control you. Your life is what you think it should be. That's exactly what you are right now. You are what you thought you should be. And if you don't like who you are, you got to change what you think you should be. What you think is more important than what you do. 
And so if you want to change, you got to work on this attitude bit. When you take on a massive change, whether it's trying to diet after a lifetime of being overweight, or maybe running your first race after a lifetime of never ever exercising, or maybe it's starting to date again after you lost your spouse to cancer. When you confront something that's gonna require you to change your behavior, you basically come face to face with the gap between who you are right now and the future person you want to be. So you need to foster the belief in what you are dreaming so that it becomes a reality, which is very different than saying, I don't expect anybody to believe it until I see it. You need people to believe it before they can see it. Here is how you can assure yourself to enjoy yourself during the process of whatever it is you're trying to achieve. I want you to get this. Because it starts as soon as you open up your eyes in the morning or whenever it is that you start the day. As soon as you open up your eyes to greet the day, you enter into consciousness. It is at that moment that your creativity is at its most powerful. Right there and then, you have an opportunity to steer your thoughts and your emotions in the direction that you want them to go, not in the direction that they're telling you to go. In other words, you can literally choose to seize the day or you can let the day seize you. Nothing works the first time. When you try something new, it probably won't work. Every failed experiment is one step closer to success. You've got to take risks. If you don't fail, you're not even trying. To get something you never had, you have to do something you never did. Every time you lose at something, you're one step closer to winning the next time. The difference between successful people and not successful people, okay. let's call it that sure. way, are people give up. People wake up every morning, they have doubt, they have fear, they lose in a Ferrari race or they lose in a race, and then they just give up. The, the, the hardest thing in life to learn is to lose. Winning's easy. You win, you're happy, you get a high five, your friends are happy. It's your ability to take a loss, get up the next day, dust yourself off, and keep going. This isn't about playing basketball like Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, Dwayne Wade. There's guys in the NBA that are never gonna play basketball like them. This is about being able to think like a champion. Know what goes on in their heads. Understand how you can relate it to your business and whatever you do to take yourself to the next level. Remember, the mind controls a body. The body does not control the mind. What makes these guys special and successful in everything they do is not their physical gifts, it's their mental toughness. They have the ability not to think what everyone else is thinking. So what I want you to do, as soon as you open up your eyes to start the day, is to immediately start focusing on something or someone that you are totally grateful for in your life. I don't care what it is or who it is, but I want you to feel it with your heart and soul. Your only goal as soon as you open up your eyes is to be to make yourself feel good and to give yourself enough confidence to get through the day. Don't worry about what needs to be done. Think about who you have to be in order to get it done. I believe the emotions that many of us consider negative, like frustration and rejection and pain, can be our greatest friends because they can drive us to success. You know what? I think one of the things that happens for a lot of people when they get successful is they get superstitious. It's like they work so hard for the success and they now finally have it, so all of a sudden they don't change, they don't vary their behavior, they kind of like want to stay the way things are. They get incredibly conservative and they miss out on the juice of life. Stay out of the trap. Listen, when people succeed, they tend to party. When they fail, they tend to ponder. Now the pondering, many times we create our greatest successes in life. Just remember, it's impossible to fail. If you try something and it doesn't work, just try something else and learn something from what you just did. As long as you learn something, you've succeeded. Start with something small if you want and then build. But right now, write down two decisions you've made and then take action on them immediately. I mean right now. I mean even before I finish talking here. Stop the tape, pick up the phone and make that call you've been waiting for. Do not put it off another minute. I don't care what it takes, there's power and momentum.
I'm a big believer that once you set a goal, once you make a decision, you should immediately, in that moment, do something to start making progress towards it. That way you can't cop out later on or get caught up or lose your momentum. So please do it now. And I know not all things can be done right now, so maybe it's something you have to do tomorrow morning. But whatever you're going to do, make the decision and then commit to follow through and then check in tomorrow. Because this is the first step to grabbing your personal power. Remember this. So you got to get out there. You got to give it everything you got, whether it's your time, your, your, your talent, your prayers, or your treasures.